Hello, I'm Dana Manciagli, and you can find more Cut the Crap, Get a Job information on danamanciagli.com or cutthecrapgetajob.com. Today's topic is, are you job searching without a goal? Are you hunting for something without knowing what it looks like? Let me ask you a few questions. Have you gone out and bought a car without knowing roughly what kind you're going to shop for? A big one, small one, etc. Have you played sports? You always know where's the goal, or where are the lines on the tennis court, or in the basketball, where's the bas- where's the net? And finally, all of you have set goals for other things. And whether it's in school to get an A or at work that you're going to cross certain milestones. But now that you're in job search mode, we become with goalless. So let's talk about the bad things that can happen without having a clear goal and the importance of it. Number one, the worst thing that's going to happen is that you won't be able to get any interviews because it's going to be clear that you're just randomly applying to jobs. Also, if you get an interview, the hiring managers at interviews are going to know. They want to see candidates with passion and really who are focused and fixated on a certain career function and become an expert in that. So many job seekers, the final bad thing is that you'll get frustrated because so many job seekers during my 30 years of either interviewing or talking and interviewing thousands of job seekers um, I ask, they're frustrated, and I ask them, what are you looking for? And I get a lot of crap, cut the crap, get a job. And here are some examples of what I hear. Dana, I'm looking for a challenging position in a fast-moving environment where I get to work with people. Okay, that's not a job goal. Number two, I'm looking for a position that leverages my strengths in financial analytics not about you. And finally, the, the most common answer to the question, what are you looking for, is let me tell you about my background. Let me tell you about my resume. And what they're not saying is, you go figure it out. Okay, so don't, if you find yourself saying any of those three, don't. Now, why is having a goal important? Because your network wants to help you. Help me help you. They really want to engage. You want their mind going spinning on names that pop up when you're describing your goal. If your goals are squishy, then they're not going to engage to help you because there's nothing to grab onto. Okay? Also, what's important is that your hiring manager wants to see your passion and your commitment to that focus. So they may ask you, hey, what other jobs are you looking at? And the purpose of that question is to see if you're staying in the same field, the same realm, the same industry. But if you mention random jobs that you're applying to, they're going to say, well, then they're just another random opportunity. And they want people who are committed. So what if you know your goal, but you can't articulate it? So let me give you some tips now on how to write down, please write down your goal not up here, draw even a dartboard, those circles bigger, bigger, bigger on one piece of paper and point to the middle. And I want you to list three things, the law of threes per the following. So first, what geographic, geographically, where do you want to work? If it's right where you are, you're done. Name that city. But if you're willing to move, don't just say anywhere. What are the top three cities in stack rank order that you will you will are hunting in? Number two, three industries. And be specific. Do you want the beverage industry, the manufacturing of electronics industry? Or do you want service industry, consumer packaged goods? Do you have any preferences or any experience in any industry? Then write those down. And also three job functions. This is the hardest where people say, well, I can't really describe it. Then go to some of the websites. Go to monster.com. Don't pick a city. Don't start applying. Simply read job descriptions. Print the top 10 and look at what they have in common. They may all be in the customer service area. Boom. You want to be a customer service manager or inside sales. You will find the titles and you need to find the functions or titles and the department that you want to work in. Marketing, sales, operations. Be really clear. 
what environment you want to be in. And finally, size of company. Last criteria, do you want a small, small startup? you want a Fortune 500? Uh, do you want a regional sales office of a Fortune 500? So try to narrow down what size companies you want to work for. So there's your goal. Now summarize that goal and where will you use this goal? My answer, everywhere. Why are our goals our best kept secret? Why is your goal your best kept secret? You want to share it with whoever will listen and whoever you're comfortable sharing it with. Naturally, if you're currently employed, you don't want to walk down the hall and tell your manager, hey, here's my goal to move outside the company. But your network, evening events of networking, LinkedIn, family, friends, anyone who might know anybody in your sphere of your goal is brilliant. So share your goal, repeat it over and over again so that it just comes out naturally. To you, it will sound rehearsed. To them, it's the first time they've heard it. In summary, spend time to develop your goal. Some people call it your elevator pitch, but your elevator pitch is not about your background. It's about your future. Cut the crap, get a job.com or danamanciagli.com and good luck. You're doing a great job. Thank you.